Ryan, the excitement is building now, the Scottish Cup final on the horizon. You must be looking forward to this. Oh, I can't wait. Um, all the boys have been talking about it for weeks now. I've um, been preparing all week for the game and, you know, as you say, just can't wait for the game. Yeah, we've certainly knocked out some tougher opposition on the way to the final and we've certainly made sure that we're making a stamp on this competition. Do you think we can now go that extra step and yeah, lift the trophy? Yeah, I mean, 100%. Why not? Um, the boys will be as ready as we will ever be. Um, as you say, we'll beat Aberdeen, uh, Hart, Aberdeen in the semis and, uh, you know, who's to say we can't beat Celtic in the final? What lessons or what can we take from the Betfred Cup back in November, right? You know, we were. I feel we were unlucky uh, in the fight against Celtic. Um, first forty-five minutes, there was nothing in it. Um, they got the goal, and we went down to ten men, um, and it was game over from there. But we, were pre pre as I said before, preparing all week for the game. Um, so we'll, you know, the boys will be ready. Uh, we'll give absolutely everything on the pitch and leave nothing on there. Yeah, and we can see the intensity in that preparation that you talk about in training this week. You boys really look, do look like you're right at it. What's the manager yeah, been yeah. saying to you? I mean, we've been on the pitch all this week, um, so you know, really nice surface. Getting used to Saturday, uh, the manager. We've just been going through. The media boys have been giving us clips and the opposition and everything. Um, so we'll make sure we're right at it. Um, and what, you know, the intensity has been really high in training, as expected. Um, and you know, we're, everyone's just got that buzz. Yeah, obviously we don't like to reflect on it too much, but the disappointment that you must have felt in November, did you think in that moment that you would now have a shot at the Scottish Cup? To be honest, not, well, you don't really think about it, you know, but that's, I think that Spurs is on even more to do better this time. Um, that day was a bad day, you know, you, you don't really want to pick up a, a runners-up medal. Um, but, you know, we've got that chance again, we've earned that chance, you know. Um, and as I say, we're going to give absolutely everything and hopefully we'll go one step further this time. And of course, there's a bit of a new look to our side this time, of course, and up front in particular, you're now part partnering Curtis. How much have you enjoyed playing together, you two? Yeah, uh, obviously it was me and Malty last time. We had a really good partnership going. Um, Curtis and Nadia come in in January uh, and they, they had a good partnership going as well. Um, I got my chance. Um, I mean, Curtis have been doing really well together, we work well um, off each other. Um, and especially this competition, we've done really well. Um, so hopefully we can do the same again on Saturday. Yeah, you're quite right to mention some of the names in, in terms of the squad. That depth in competition is yeah. certainly something that's been driving us on, hasn't it? Yeah, 100%. Um, I mean, Dia, um, him, especially on Saturday, he was yeah. unplayable. Um, he's unlucky, he can't, obviously he can't play on Saturday, yeah. um, which, would give, which would have gave the manager yeah. a lot of food for thought. Um, but no, there's competition all over, all all places, uh, which is good, you know. Keeps you on your toes in training and stuff like that. And uh, you don't want to be thinking, I'm going to play next week. If I don't do well, I'm going to play next week. There's, as I say, there's competition in all areas, so it, it keeps you at it. Yeah. What goes through your head and what sort of emotions come over you when you see the town with all the signs up, oh, the banners everywhere? What goes through your head? Oh, it's unbelievable. I mean, it's everywhere you go, even in the town centre. All the shops have got it, uh, flags, banners, posters. As you say, it's out on the on the streets and stuff, and it just gives you that buzz. Even driving in training, you see all the flags and stuff, and you know you get that immediate buzz. And as I said, you can't can't wait for it on Saturday. And I guess it'll give you that motivation to reward the fans for everything they've done this season. Yeah, I mean you see it all over social media as well. Everyone getting behind the uh, the boys, and it just what it would mean to the like the players alone and the fans and everyone involved in Motherwell Football Club. What it would do to them, it'd just be unbelievable. All the best, Ryan. Thank you, appreciate that.